Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 22 in chapter 28. Chapter 28 is about the sources of magnetic fields. So there you can see we have two long parallel wires, right? And then they are in the same direction. We need to find the magnetic field vectors at point B or at point P. And then you can see the distance from the wire and the the wire location to the point P is given. So we can consider this one as R1, R2, and D, okay? Now we can determine its magnetic field at the P. So as we can consider, this P just come from wire 1 and wire 2, right? So first, first one we consider the wire 1. We can consider uh, this uh, current just flows out. You can use the right-hand rule to draw a to define the magnetic field. So when it at the P point, of course, it's perpendicular to the R1. Do you agree? It's perpendicular to R1, so this is a B1. If we consider this angle as a theta, this angle must be theta. Why? Because you can see this is theta, this is theta, this is a red one, plus this green one equals to 90 degree. Do you agree? Yes, because you can draw the night. This one must be the uh, 90 degree, right? So make a theta one, make this red one, plus this green one equal to 90 degree. And also we look at this, uh, this line, theta one plus uh, this red one plus this uh, Green one equal to 90 degree because this angle we just took about this angle B1 with the R1 is a 90 degree, right? Yes, so we determine this is theta 1. Now we can consider uh, the wire 2. Wire 2, we can draw a magnetic field that's around it. You can see it is a steel anti-clockwise, right? So if you look at the P point, it follows this uh, direction. This is a B2, right? Of course, B2 is perpendicular to R2. So in this way, we can determine the theta 2 equal to this angle. Do you agree? Yes. Similarly, right? As we can consider, uh, we draw it this way. The this is a purple. The purple, the angle purple angle plus this a blue angle equal to ninety degree, and then this blue angle plus this purple equal to ninety degree. So make this a two purple angle theta two. Agree? Yes. Now you can see if we know the magnetic field from B one and B two, right? How can we get the net magnetic field as B? We just need to project B1 and B2 in X component and Y component. Add them together, we get it, right? So Bx is a negative because it's pointing to negative X direction. So negative B1 times the sine theta 1, right? So B1 projected this way, this way. So this one is a B1 sine theta 1. And the Look at the B2, so B2 is a negative B2 sine theta 2, right? Similarly, we get the BY1, so BY1 this way, we can say is a B1 cosine theta 1, and then B, uh, the B2Y is negative B2 cosine theta, agree? So we project B1 and B2 in X and Y component, so we can get the net a uh, magnetic field that's in X and Y component in these two equations, right? So it looks like we must know the B1 and B2. That is easy because we can get the magnetic field from a straight wire very easily by these two functions. Another thing we need to know the angle theta 1 and theta 2 looks a little bit difficult, but there we have a hint. Use the law of cosine, right? So now we need to solve theta 1 and theta 2. And in this triangle, we can see we have three side lengths, R1, R2, and D, right? So first of all, we can solve the 
law of cosine. Get write the equation for this one, and then for theta two, we write equation for this one. Now you can see we can solve the we input the quantities, and the first one we can solve the b one and the b two, right? Get the magnetic field density for b one, b two, and then we solve the law of cosine. Get the theta one and the theta two. Now we input b one, b two, theta one, theta two. We get the answer there. Uh, finally, we can get the net magnetic field as square root of bx squared plus by squared. Answer is there, and the angle theta, right? Thank you.